Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to go over a few AWS interview questions which you would normally be asked when you go for an interview for a position of an SRE or a DevOps engineer, right? So this is not a very exhaustive list because like 10 questions are not enough you know, to cover all of the AWS but what I've done is I've tried to I mean combine most of the core services like EC2, uh, RDS, S3 so I've tried to get questions from each of these services and create a list of most asked questions and these are basically dependent on the experience so I mean I have been working with AWS for almost like seven years seven plus years now so these are the questions which I have seen when I've given interviews when I've taken interviews I've asked these questions so yep so this is basically completely based on the experience and I mean for you if you're going for an interview the questions might be different but like every like for everyone it's a different world right but I've but these questions are very generic and you would hear about them or be asked these questions in an interview so it's good to just go over these questions before you go for an interview right so moving on so let's go to our first question and this is coming from EC2 and this is one of my favorite questions that what is user data in EC2 so if you know if you work with EC2 you know that user data is basically used to bootstrap your EC2 instance while it's coming up so if you want to have some package installed some uh, like suppose for HTTPD if you have want to install HTTPD, HTTPD you put it in the user data and when your instance comes up you have HTTPD all, already installed or you can have your custom script which you want to run while uh, configuring your EC2 instance so that script you can provide in as user data right okay uh, moving on what are the type of encryption in S3 so I have actually a very good video on S3 encryption so basically there are three types and you would probably should know all the three types and how they are different from each other so i would re recommend you to just go over my video on s3 encryption and you can get a fair idea what is encryption in s3 okay moving on the next question is from auto scaling so what are auto scaling life cycle for? and this is actually very important not from the interview perspective but from a real life scenario perspective you should know what a life cycle hooks how can you pause a boom i mean when your instance is coming up how can you pause your instance in a particular state to do some configuration some custom configuration in auto scaling so this is very very good and i have a very good video on auto scaling which is getting quite a few number of views so I would recommend you to just go and watch that uh, video to get a good idea of what is auto scaling and life cycle hooks. All right, moving on. Another question from auto scaling, which I normally ask, I've not seen people asking this question, but I normally ask when I take an interview is what are auto scaling termination policies? So there are different termination policies. So this is basically how auto scaling decides how to terminate your instance in a in the case of a scale in event so when you have a scale in event when you have an instance going down how does auto scaling uh, decides which instance to terminate uh, there's a default policy which is already there so default policy i think it's like from the oldest instance to the instance with the oldest uh, launch configuration and those, those sort of things uh, i don't exactly remember on the top of my head but yeah you can just go and see what are the different termination policies available to you or you can create your own termination policy uh, to for let you uh, let Ada auto scaling decide how to terminate your instances all right moving on uh, this is my favorite questions it basically confuses the hell out of uh, anyone the difference between an IAM role and a policy when you when I ask this I just ask this question the person just get confused the difference between a role and a policy and it's very thin so I would want you to just go over this uh, what is the difference between a role and a policy right okay moving on okay this question is coming from RDS and this is a very common question uh, you would see people asking this that what are read replicas in RDS so read replicas basically are nothing you just create a replica of your database to redirect the read traffic of your application to those replicas so that every time there's a read operation it's not going to your database so that it doesn't uh, uh, 
impacts your database or for there's no performance impact in performance impact on your database rather it goes to these read replicas and read replicas can also become a full fledged database backups if your master database goes down so that's another thing you should know okay next question coming is this is coming from ec2 so how are t type instances different from all the other types like m c r5t r so all these instances how are t type instances different and this was i think i was asked this question a few years back 3 to 4 4 years back i think and when i when i and i was not able to answer it at that time because it was actually confusing 5 years back for me and i came back and i found the answer so t type instances offer you a burstable performance so and no other instance type give you that the so burstable performance is only a t type instance feature so you should know that all right moving on okay this is another uh, common question which you see in an interview is difference between alb and L nlb so alb is your application load balancer and nlb is your network load balancer so there are quite a few different things starting with the uh, application app the network layer they operate in so alb operates on the layer 7 which is the application layer and nlb operates on layer 4 which is the tcp layer right so although there are quite a few difference apart from these uh, like nlb you can give ips and alb can do path based routing and stuff like that but it's good if you have a few differences in your pocket just to tell it out moving on this is coming from dynamo db so what are local secondary indexes and global secondary indexes and basically the difference between these two is what is asked normally and frankly speaking i don't i even don't remember on top of my head what are the difference i mean i used to know when i used to work with dynamo db but right now even i am blank so this is actually one of the tough questions which you'll get in an interview uh, which is aws based interview right moving on and this is i think the question coming from route 53 and i think this is the final question i i got the count but this is the final question probably so what are different routing policies in route 53 so if you remember i have a app done a video on routing policy in route 53 and these are like simple policy latency based and they are weighted policy geo location based all these kind of routing policy so it's good if you go over these routing policies know what uh, what are different routing policies available to you and what do they do in general so you should know that yeah so i think these are the 10 questions which i basically uh, collected for you guys so that i mean before you go for an interview for an sre or a devops engineer just go over these questions and i have done a, another video for the top Uh, the next uh, interview questions for so those i would i mean i would request you to go over those questions as well but those are very good questions and you would see them being asked in an interview of a system administrator or an sre or a devops because as a sre or devops you are bound to know linux so that's a sort of a prerequisite right and these are few collection of questions for aws interview not very exhaustive i've just tried to uh, include more and more so i mean the more core services i could uh, i've tried to get all the core services i could but uh, yeah not a very exhaustive list but going forward we'll do such uh, videos uh, so that uh, i mean like more interview questions i could tell you up from not just from aws perspective but from general network in general cloud environment yes so I think this is it for this video guys thank you for watching do subscribe to the channel don't go without subscribing to that channel just press the subscribe button and bell icon if you want to but i won't force you to bell press the bell icon but just subscribe to my channel and all right we'll i'll get you more of these videos going forward so thank you for watching guys